Now, if you look at it here, for example, here's another really good example, is that this is a, I don't know, you might call it the, the external layer of the superficial fascia. But can you see how the, the underneath layer is going across? Now, there isn't, I was keen to say there aren't any layers in, in, in tissue. Tissues and anatomy and body and fascia doesn't have layers. Um, if you try to take that away, what you'd find is these fibers that you're seeing, see like that looks like it's on the, on the surface, um, they're not. It, it, it's, they blend into each other. Try and take that, aw that away and what you'd end up with is just a, a mass of fibers that are all poking around and, and, and getting themselves all m matted up and messed up. And so that there isn't, um, until you get into the, the, the delineation of that package that you have, that you've got into, or is it that's going into there, if I cut that open, then you'll see that, that quite clearly you can see the, the muscular structures of the um, erector spiny going up and down. But up until that point, everything's sort of blended and blurred. And so in order to get that, um, that really clear delineation, what you've got to do is you've got to create um, a cut. You've got to, you know, got to cut along here and clean all this away and clean all this away and then leave those bits behind. But even here on the, the left-hand side, you can sort of see the, the fibers of those, the, the glute, the fibers of the thoracal and fascia blending across into uh, gluteus maximus. And then uh, it gets a little bit more confusing around the top when you start to get to gluteus medius. There's no easy way of, of explaining it.